Um, well, okay, by the title of this video, you can already guess what are we gonna talk about today. Uh, this video is only for the people who read the manga, who seen today's lyrics, and I... I don't know. I don't know what my re reaction leak is going to be right now, because the leaks when I, you know, um... <laughs> When I first saw the leaks, guys, when I was thinking about, like, Dota's possible death, maybe one day, I was always picturing it, like, that I would be crying, I would be sobbing, that would be, like, the worst day of my life. This is actually the worst day of my life, but still, I didn't feel anything. Like, the second I saw these panels, I didn't feel shit. And that's, guys, the problem. This is, like, the biggest... This is... This rings a bell, you know? When you can tell that the writing is shit as hell. Okay, I'm gonna elaborate. I'm not just gonna, you know, say that, oh, Gege fumbled. Gege fumbled. Fumbled real bad. But I'm going to be... I'm gonna go in depth of today's chapter and, like, at all of Goju's character. I'm the person who who's not just, you know, crazy Gojo fan because of his powers. I'm more of a fan who's really invested in him as a person itself, not even as a sorcerer, that he's almighty and stuff. And before, like, I know that a lot of probably Sukuna fans right now, they're celebrating Gojo's death, but, like, that's okay. I mean, mm, you can do that. But I wouldn't be celebrating it because... This doesn't do Sukuna a favor, guys. This doesn't paint him as real winner. Because we all remember how this long-ass fight went. We all remember that it was basically three versus one. And it... It's fucking ridiculous. It just makes me laugh, I don't know, that Sukuna thinks of himself as the strongest. Yet he could not kill Gojo without Mahoraga. That's it. That's the end of discussion. If it was, guys, one on one, and Sukuna would kill Gojo, I would, I wouldn't even say anything. I would be okay. Yeah, that's it. Gojo, Gojo's dead. Yeah, but, <laughs> but like, what pisses me off so much is that it was so poorly executed. Like Gojo's death was just it felt like nothing. It was just what. Because of the way it went, like, the chapter ended with Gojo wing winning, like, we all remember, right? And it was said, like, the strongest, like, Gojo, like, wins or something. And then suddenly, it's like, it's not even flashbacks, because I thought these panels, like, with Sarasugu, by the way, guys, we win, Sarasugu fans, we win, but at what cost? At what cost? I thought it's like, oh, is this a flashback? No, it's not a flashback. Then I thought maybe it's an afterlife. Let's elaborate on that. Then everyone were like, oh, this is an afterlife. Gojo imagining Ghetto. Yo, that shit moved me. This, what I can give to Gege? This was great. This was really good. This part I really liked it. I thought, oh, this is, is this an afterlife? So now Gojo's like dead and he went to Suguru. The first person he thought of is Suguru. I'm like, Sarasugu fans never lose. We never lose. Again, but at what cost? <laughs> um, so yeah, they were talking, then there was Nanami, Haibara. And the thing that really made me think that this is probably also not an afterlife. We need to, we still guys need to wait for an official translation. But the translator who like, Miyamura, the leaker, he usually posts like the translations also. And Gojo said something along the lines like, you know, if it wasn't afterlife and Gojo was really dying, he would just go with, with, the, with other people. With Ghetto, with um, Nanami, with Haibara, he would go with them. But he said, like, bye. He was, like, waving at them and, like, saying something. He was, like, saying his goodbyes. I'm like, wait, 
if you are dead, you shouldn't be saying goodbye to them, right? That makes sense. So, guys, you can call me delusional. You can call me crazy. But I will still hold for that hope, for that tiny little hope that somehow Gojo's alive. I know it sounds ridiculous when you see Half Slice body. Another thing. This panel. We all remember, well, if Gege wants, like, to redeem himself, honestly, <laughs> he should not forget about the things he writes before it. Because when Toji Gojo fight was happening, Gojo said to Toji, you should have aimed for my neck, for my head. If you did it, if you, like, sliced it, like Sukuna actually did before, but Gojo was able to regrow everything and he said like if you did this i would be dead what we have guys we have gojo sliced in half right but his neck and and his head are still intact like they are together i don't know think for yourself right now it's another hope for me that maybe somehow, since right now, focus is going to be on Sukuna and Kashima. By the way, you know, when I saw like Gojo dead, I was like, fuck shit, I'm gonna drop JJK <laughs> before I saw that last panel. Because, you know, uh, this thing already happened with me when Tokyo Revengers, when spoilers, guys, I don't know, but like probably a lot of people know, but if you don't, skip it. In Tokyo Revengers, when they killed um, Draken in the manga, I dropped it. I dropped it and I never returned. But it was like easier with Tokyo Revengers, you know, since there are not a lot of characters that I really liked. And Draken was basically like one of the few, so I, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna read that. But the problem with JJK is that a lot of characters are actually really good written. I wanted to, I wanted to drop JJK after Gojo's death. It fits actually death, okay? Let's have two possibilities. I'm gonna like speak for a potential JJK where Gojo is really, really dead, like completely, like we think right now. Or that other delusional half of me who thinks that Gojo might be alive. Right now I'm talking about like I was I was talking about if he's alive, like what's gonna happen? <laughs> But when, like, okay, I saw, like, oh, Gojo's dead, well, um, should I drop JJK? I was like... But then, then the rest of the leaks were out. And the last panel, I saw Kashima. And those who don't know, I, I just love Kashima. I don't know, guys. He just has this kind of charisma, you know? And I reread his fight with, um, with that dude. I forgot his name. Like, the, when Kashimo appeared for, for the first time, he had a fight with a dude who has, like, f like this funny ability, like, luck something that he cannot die. And when I saw Kashimo, when I saw him here, I'm like, I need to read that. <laughs> because I really love when Kashimo fights. And it's, it's his panels are, are always badass, so I cannot miss it. But I'm gonna miss Gojo. That's for sure. So, um, I know what Sukuna fans always say. Gojo was killed rightfully because he's the strongest and the plot because of him it cannot progress bullshit. Guys, is it really? Is it really? Just think about it. Just leave your bias for a second for Sukuna, like, and even for Gojo. Just think about it from... Like, using your brain. Using, like, thinking, actually, right? <sighs> Are you really a great writer? If you cannot handle the plot where you purposely, purposely create OP character. And where you can't handle that OP powers and you cannot incorporate it into the plot that's the freaking problem with Gege that I have guys you okay you had an opportunity to create Gojo but make him less OP how about that then maybe Gojo could have been alive and like the plot could have progressed or you could just take Gojo, make him OP, and just take away his powers, you know? His curse technique. 
You know, Gojo was killed basically off screen for real. Because, like I said, the last chapter was ended with uh, Gojo wins. Nice, we're like, whoa, that's great, that's great. What's gonna happen next? Then we have this kind of, I don't even know what was that. It wasn't a flashback. It wasn't probably an afterlife. It also wasn't an afterlife. It was probably just Go in Gojo's head everything. Maybe like a fever dream something because he's in pain, he's like dying. I really think that it was it. And then, out of nowhere, this shit ends and Gojo sliced in half. And Sukuna's like, well, Gojo Satoru, it was nice to, to, to know you. <laughs> what was that? Like, guys, just, I just, you know, I don't want to fight with you because I know probably people who's gonna watch this, they're gonna, especially Sukuna fans. I just want to hear your side, guys. Let's talk like real ad ad adults, like not just crazy fans, but like adults who can think without bias. Do you really think that it was fair? Do you really think it was a good for Sukuna? This fight wasn't even good for Sukuna. It was actually showing him from a petty side. From I, I, I actually always liked Sukuna as a villain. I never thought of him as a fraud Kuna, you know, until the this whole shit that Gege wrote. I'm not even a fan of the way he wrote this fight, like with Sukuna, how he handled him. Because basically when I thought of Sukuna so high, when I was as a reader, I was actually afraid of his like next move. I was afraid that, oh, he can kill like Gojo maybe because he's also strong. But like the way this was guys executed, that's, that just doesn't seem right with me. I would take Gojo's death normally. Like I wouldn't complain if it wasn't, first of all, if it wasn't off screen if we before that we had a proper exploration like in terms of gojo's family we never got that this chapter gojo actually mentioned his father out of fucking nowhere and he just said something my father blah 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 and then and then he died is there really great we never got to see like gojo clan how the fuck did they even look Except for Gojo. <laughs> His father, mother, I don't know, sister, brother, I don't know who did he have. Are they even still alive? We don't know shit. Gege made so many plot holes actually, so it's not even fucking funny. If we had, you know, if we had all this information, all this important stuff about Gojo, his past, like, some things would have been resolved. Okay, and then he would have somehow, like, you know, this dramatically, this dramatic death because of Sukuna, not of Scream, somehow, I don't know. And this would have been a great conclusion for a great character. And uh, whatever the fuck that was, I don't know, man. I'm, you know, if Gojo's really dead, like, completely. And this, the shit that I've been talking about, like, that maybe he somehow is gonna be alive, it's all a Dilulu thoughts. <sighs> then i don't know i will never be able to take this manga seriously honestly i'm really fucking sad guys i'm really fucking sad you know because of like i can probably cry right now so don't judge me <laughs> because as a character guys as um not just as a tool that he was always perceived as a tool and as the strongest as a as a weapon look at the gojo as a teacher as a young teacher as a parent figure for megumi like gojo said he doesn't want students to feel alone in this world he you know he always just wanted to live a normal life i think he just wanted to for people for the closest ones, he just wanted them to be at peace. If you think about it, like, Gojo is literally the best character, I don't know. Like, his heart is so big, despite, despite, like, his cockiness and stuff. He just wanted what's best for others. He wanted to create a society where people can live normally. He wanted to change the jujutsu society that was problematic and guys he he didn't he didn't fulfill his dream just think about it he didn't fulfill his fucking dream and he just died off screen 
how do you do that, Gege? Like, sleep with your fucking eyes open. I'm gonna come for you. I swear I'm gonna buy a fucking ticket to Japan. Japan is like three hours from here. Think about it, okay? Jokes aside, uh, I have so many things to talk about. I even actually wrote everything in notes because my head is a mess right now. It's too much thoughts about the chapter, about the things that I hate so much. So you guys, I really want to think, and it's just, you know, it was re it, it's really funny that we even we didn't even see the reaction of people. We only saw the way Yuji and Yuta reacted. That was fucking heartbreaking, by the way. And that's it. And suddenly Kashimo is on the scene. Do, you, don't you feel a little bit suspicious, like that it feels too forced, too soon, and like the pacing is so it's a mess. Either Gege really want to end this by the end of this year. This is gonna be a flop. I swear, he literally killed the bag of his manga. I'm not afraid to say that. Gojo, guys? Who the fuck doesn't know him? Who the fuck doesn't know him? People who don't even watch Jujutsu Kaisen, they know him. I swear. And you killed your bag. I'm not I'm not even gonna be surprised that the if the sales are gonna drop <laughs> of the manga. Oh, there's my collection, by the way. Should I burn it? I don't know. You know, of course I'm joking, guys. Of course I'm, like, emotional right now, pretty much. But don't don't tell me if your favorite character, like, that you hold really dearly would die, you wouldn't react like that. You would. You would. Even Sukuna fans, if Sukuna really died, you would react like that. And I can't understand it, guys. I'm not judging. Because that's okay, that's your favorite character. No matter how bad or good he is. That's okay. And I cannot download my notes, of course, on this computer. I don't know why. But there was so much stuff. Oh my god. Like I already said, this was really sickening for me. <clears throat> that on the verge of death, Gojo really was thinking about like his classmates, about Ghetto. He was imagining how it would be if Ghetto was here. He was saying like, I wish he would like pat me on the shoulder or something. He would encourage me. Two characters really who really should be in BL but stuck in shonen, who were doomed to be in shonen, that's what I say. <laughs> because how guys I cannot this is this is this is not a joke. This is really devastating topic for me. Like Gojo thinking about ghetto, they both died on the same on the same like 24th of December. They both they both share the anniversary, death anniversary. What the hell, Gege? Do you love Yaoi so much? Just just please tell me. And the fact that he was picturing Ghetto as a teacher also at JJK, here standing behind like Yuda and I don't remember who was there, Maki, not Maki. Whatever. But that that was too much for me, okay? And that that talk with Nanami, Nanami explaining like to go south or north or I don't remember the meaning of it, but Gojo didn't go not there and not there. Please, please, I just, I just want to believe in it. I'm, I'm coping. The copium is hard. <sighs> because while Kashimo is fighting, like I said, this ab abrupt like change of events, you know, this was too sudden that Kashim was at the scene. And Gojo, where is he? He's lying there. And while Kashimo fighting with um, Sukuna, Shoko is here. Shoko is gonna patch him up. I don't know how. <laughs> Somehow, okay. And Gojo's gonna be safe. Okay. <laughs> but you know guys i think it's going to be like a really long ride again because we have another fight right now and maybe gege just wants to play with our feelings and he wants to extend like you know uh kashimo sukuna fight for another 10 chapters and then like gojo's coming back <laughs> out of fucking nowhere because i'm really devastated because i was expecting kenjaku and gojo final fight I was actually expecting them to be fighting. It cannot end like that, guys. It cannot end like that. Mm -mm. How? No. What? It, 
it just it's not possible that Gege and Kenja and that Gojo and Kenjaku didn't fight. That's crazy. And another thing that why I think it's not an after life and it's actually just Gojo, Gojo's imagination, he's like favorite dream, is because what the fuck Ghetto is doing in the afterlife? Do you really think he goes to heaven for the crimes he committed? <laughs> That's one thing. And another thing, how is his soul even there? Because like, he possessed, he actually possessed the body of Suguru. Remember, remember Kenjaku. And the... Th oh, that's a fly. And then in the next episode of Jujutsu Kaisen anime, there will be scene, as you remember, uh, where Gojo meeting Kenjaku, and he's yelling at Kenjaku, saying something like, Ghetto, how can you like let him use your body or something? And then Kenjaku suddenly grabs himself by the throat. And he's like, oh, that's the first time it happened. That's that, that's really weird. Because if Ghetto is if Ghetto Soul is an afterlife, how that shit happened. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Like I say, a lot of questions, a lot of unsolved questions. It's just so weird. This whole fucking chapter just felt so surreal and weird. My whole timeline on Twitter is just in shambles. And I love the way people like speculate about that because the more people talk about it, the more I'm convinced that Gojo's probably not dead. But it's really hard. It's really hard. <laughs> Seriously. When you see your favorite character sliced in half, you, you just you start like, well, that looks kind of convincing that he's dead. But other facts, when you start digging, when you, when you start rereading the manga, you start to think, huh, maybe not, maybe it's not that weird that he's alive, so guys, I don't know. We just need to see. We just need to wait and see what hap what's gonna happen next. That's it. Sukuna can have his win for now over Gojo. And just another thing that, look, if Sukuna is really the strongest now, okay, Gojo's dead. How anyone can, can kill Sukuna? No one can, not Yuji, not Yuta, no one can. Like literally, no one can, guys. Just think about it because Gojo was number one and if number one couldn't kill him, no one will, no one will. And if someone will, that's a shitty writing. That's a shitty writing, like I say. It's just, I don't know, I feel so sad. I really love Jujutsu Kaisen. I really love Gege's Alright, I really, really love his characters, but the way he fumbled from this chapter, that's fucking crazy. Sukuna was the king of curses. He was so great. And then he gave him like two, two tools to beat Gojo up. And he didn't even do that. Only later, but still. Oh guys, I don't know what do you think of what do you think about it? I know Sukuna Fi fans are celebrating, I guess. <laughs> but still. Let's leave our pity competition aside and just think about it, guys. Really, about the future of JJK. I don't see a great ending for it right now. I don't. I simply don't. I would have loved for Gojo to lose all his powers. That would be better. That would be much better.